So in this very tutorial, which is going to be part three of our complete application in Spring Boot, we are going to push our application to GitHub, which is a source control tool that is free. So first, let's just run this application just to make sure it's still working. So I'm going to click on this run button and let's make sure the application works. And let me go to the address, which is HTTP localhost, localhost index. And it's still working because in the last class, we actually set up the, the template for this application, which is a nice admin template we are going to be using and it works. Now, I want to push it to GitHub because it's necessary. In case something happens, you can actually pull it back from GitHub. All right, so to push to GitHub, first you want to go to GitHub and create a repository. So I'm going to go to GitHub at this point and GitHub requires that you have an account in GitHub. So my account in GitHub is Kyneton the Genius. So if I go to Kyneton the Genius, you can always see me. Okay, so simply go to this plus sign right here and click on new repository. And I'm going to call this Fleet MS. If I call it Fleet MS, it's not going to work because I already have a Fleet MS before. So I'm going to call it Fleet MS V2. That's the name of the repository. This description is optional, but I, I think maybe I can just uh, fleet management system, management system version two. So it's gonna be version two. For now, I'm gonna leave it public. Uh, in case you want it, you can just uh, take it from there. Actually, don't add the readme or gtignore no, or this license because uh, it's going to create a problem some, somehow later on. For now, leave, leave out adding the readme to the, the, the repository and simply click on create repository. Okay, now when you click on create repository, it creates a repository for you and gives you a number of things you can do. So this is basically uh, what we can do now in our application. But meanwhile, if you want to see the steps of, on how to push to, uh, to GitHub, you can just type on, on Google, type push to GitHub, push to GitHub, kind sounds, because I already did a step-by-step -step before now, so I, you can actually find it here. But for me, I already know it, so you can, uh, you can just forget it, because you have my pages actually filled with a number of hard parts. So now the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to copy this link here. So you have to copy this link that you have here because we are going to be using it. All right. Okay. So now we have our repository fleet msv2. I'm going to go back to the application and go to terminal and go to terminal here. And I'm going to first, you're going to stop this application from running. And now the first thing we want to do is to initialize a local git repository. And to do that, we simply say git init. Uh, when you say git init, that is fine. It gives all this master or whatever. So it's fine. It's fine. So git init is okay. Initialize empty git repository. And we are going to now add everything to git. I'm going to say uh, uh, git add star, uh, sorry, dot. And it's going to add everything. Now, basically, I think we are following these steps. Git init, add readme. Um, for now, I'm not adding a readme uh, for now, so I'm going to just leave it the way it is. So the next thing I'm going to do is to use git commit. So git uh, commit um, and just say minus m, the message, the commit message. Commit simply means add it to the local git repository. And the message to tag the commit uh, you are doing that to show that the time you might you added it for now. This is just the first uh, commit. Okay, so this is fine. Enter. All right, fine. And finally, I'm going to add the tell the local Git repository that there is an external or remote Git repository available. And to do that, I'm going to simply say Git remote Git remote. Uh, git remote add, git remote add origin, and then specify the, the remote git repository, which is what we copied from here, and that's what I'm going to paste here, right here. 
enter so this is fine everything works so far and the next thing i'm gonna do now is to say uh git remote actually you can just do git push at this time and it's gonna push everything but i like to do git remote uh verify git remote just to make sure that it can connect to the remote repository so git remote minus v to verify and it's, it, do, it will do a fetch and also a push and if it works that is fine and now the remote repository is available and accessible from the local repository and finally we are now going to push so i'm going to say git push origin master and this now is going to add everything to the remote repository how do i know so i'm going to go to my remote repository and come here now and we can see that we have all our files if you go to src now see src main you have this uh, application uh, file we created but if i go back to src main resources and you can see the template we have all the files added to the repository so this is fine um yeah so i'm going to stop here now do the same thing add everything to git and this will be part three in part four i'm going to now show you how to create a master content page or a template content page more or less like having a, a, a template page so that you don't have to keep creating uh the uh, sidebar or the header the, the part of the pages that are static will remain static in the template page so this we are going to be doing in the next tutorial. I'd like to remind you to subscribe to my channel. So hit the subscribe button. If you have any challenges following, please let me know. This is version two. And it's going to be addressing all the questions uh, have, that have been asked by my subscri subscribers from the fleet management system version one. All the questions are going to be addressed here. So if you have challenges, let me know in the comment box below. I remain kind on the tech pro and I'm always there for you.